Hello tankers! Glad to see you all here. Let's start with a very important announcement. Starting from episode 495 of the vlog, we will meet with you every Thursday instead of Friday at 1 p.m. UTC. We have shifted the premiere date by exactly 24 hours, so this way all the announcements will be posted at the same time, both in video and text formats. You won't see us next week, but don't get upset. According to the new schedule, the next episode will be released on Thursday, November 23rd. Now sit tight and enjoy! The battles have been filled with spirits since this morning. According to Tanki conspiracy theorists, you will be feeling their presence via special festive decorations in maps and in the garage from 10th to 20th of November. Everybody knows it's not a good idea to enrage the spirits, and since they love lavish celebrations, we shall do as they demand and organize a whole event in their honor. Expect various in-game activities, including special missions, doubled funds and experience, and a lead pass, from which you can get a skin container. You think that's not enough? Maybe discounts will help. How about a three-day-long discount from Friday to Sunday? 30% discount in the shop on crystals, stars and gold boxes. Check your garage for discounts on augments, supplies and paints. And of course, upgrade your turrets, hulls, protection modules and drones. The discounts will be available until the server restart on November 13th. The contents of Ultra Containers will once again be updated. They'll have Ultra Skins for Thunder and Railgun, as well as XT HD Skins for Paladin and Crusader. New augments for Isida and Magnum will also be added. Isida's stunning nanobots. Critical damage applies the stun status effect to the enemy tank for a short time. Magnum's jamming core. Each shot applies the jammer status effect to all targets caught in the explosion radius. With critical hits, the duration of the effect increases. Let us also remind you about three special game modes, which will become available one after the other. From November 10th to 12th, play in the control points mode. Each player will be armed with standard grenades. This is the final experimental testing, where the grenades appear with a predetermined spawn timer. Feedback from you is always appreciated, so feel free to comment below the video or on the forum. The second game mode starts immediately after the first one. Test your skills from Monday to Thursday in the deathmatch mode and conquer the battlefield alone. And from November 17th to 19th, expect a Grenadier's mode that requires not only well-timed grenade launches, but also skillful railgun shots. The game mode will be available in the Autumn Remastered Sandbox and Sandal maps. We'll find out who the real masters of aiming and shooting at grenades are. Don't forget to equip the special Eternity Paint before you enter the battlefield. Winter Major 2023 is in full swing. Currently, the Challenger stage matches are being held among the teams placed 9th to 24th. The ranking table is formed during Winter Major rankings 1, 2 and 3. The first two teams that reached the Legend stage are already known based on the results of these matches. 7 Stars vs Frenzy and Anti-System vs Tripside. In the first encounter, Frenzy showed more willpower and took home a 4-1 victory. And Tripside came out victorious in their clash against Anti-System. You can watch the games of your favorite teams on our Twitch channels. Viewers get Twitch drops, which contain Ultra Containers, that are given out for watching the live streams for a certain period of time. A small but pleasant bonus. To support the teams, we will be launching the Winter Tanky Fund on November 17th. The rules are the same. The collected tank coins help you get through levels of the Tanky Fund. Purchasing a special offer from the Shop Showcase can add between 1,000 to 10,000 tank coins to the fund. Every 1 million tank coins added to the fund brings a guaranteed price to those who have bought at least one special offer. The higher the level, the more valuable the price. Protection module slots, ultra containers, rare mono paints like mono violet or mono apple, augments and skin containers, and of course GT skins for Gauss, Freeze and Hunter. All of this will be available in the 50 levels of the eSports Tanky Fund. 
Don't miss the official announcement next week. Let's answer some questions you left for us as comments under our social media posts. Igor Grigoriev asks, will there be protection models against grenades in the future? We have discussed that option and have come to conclusion that protection against grenades will be an obstacle between the goals that we want to reach by adding grenades to the game. Therefore, there will be no protection against them. Dima Lee asks, if there will be a separate types of grenades, will they all be upgraded individually as separate items? Yes, each type of grenade will be upgraded as a separate type of supplies. You may have 100 usual MK7 grenades, 10 MK1 smoke grenades, and so on. Ravil Sadikov asks, will there ever be a split-screen mode to play with somebody else on one computer, for example, one may move with WAST and a mouse, while the other player can use arrow keys and ZX. We would like to make such a change. I wouldn't say it's in our current plans, but we will definitely entertain the possibility of it. We even think that the second player doesn't have to enter a new account to play, but maybe can use a temporary copy of the first account. Vasily Ushakov asks, Hazel, when will there be status effect mines? It would be mega cool. Nope, that would be horrible. It's stressful enough to drive through a minefield thinking you'll get damaged, but not even knowing what to expect from mines would be much worse. Ruslan Mukaev asks, why have you started releasing updates rarer than before? The equipment balance used to change pretty frequently and now it's a rare occurrence. The old wise man used to say, be like water, but adapt like bamboo. In a world of constant updates, we also follow this wise saying. The development of a game is like an endless stream of water that changes its course frequently, but we also try to stay firm like a bamboo stick, to better meet your expectations and needs. Game balance is an important aspect and we always try to improve it, but just like mother nature, we also work in cycles. From time to time there are periods when game balance changes are not frequent and sometimes there are many changes coming one after the other, like an overflowing river. We also pay attention to your feedback and will continue to improve the game, just like a bamboo gets its strength on a constant stream of water. Body Night Blogger asks, why are there so many similar paints in Tanki? Don't you have ideas for other ones? The more paints there are, the more similarities you'll find between them. Avalari Azjomovic asks, how soon can we expect the mobile version of the game to move to HTML5? It is expected soon-ish. We just need to make some more updates to improve memory usage on mobile devices. Time to ask the first qualifying question. 50 players who find the answer to it will have the chance to answer the hardest question, which we will ask during the 500th vlog episode. Before we go, let us remind you that in three hours the first few matches of YouTubers Battle will start. They will be using Bonk, and we hope you've already picked a favorite team to support. Let the strongest side win! Kisses and hugs! Bye!